to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. I have experienced the miracle-working power of God in my own life. I have been sick i know what it means to be sick i have been oppressed i know what it means to be oppressed many times part of the training of the apostolic ministry is that in a very strange and unique way you will have to pass through many of the things you'll be delivering other people from is part of the cross of the apostolic ministry the Bible says we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity. There is nothing that I do not believe that God is able to do. I really believe with all my heart that he can heal the sick. He can deliver the oppressed. But there are many people who may not be sick. But there are issues in your life, just like Pastor Pete was listing a few it's your responsibility under God to open up your heart and insist. Archbishop Benson Idahosa of blessed memory said, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. If your faith says yes, God will not say no. In every meeting like this, there are two kinds of people, two kinds of people. The Lord is bringing deliverance to a lady right now. Please just bring her out. I just saw like a spirit just leave a lady. Please bring her out. We'll sit down shortly, but I, I just thought to just announce that most times I declare it so that it will manifest what is seen in the realm of the spirit. I just saw like the power of God on a lady and just losing the chains of oppression. So many times when we come before the Lord, it is important that we understand that we are in the presence of God. Hebrews 11 and verse 6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please him. It says, For he that cometh unto God must believe that he exists. He is. And then he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him god rewards he rewards passion he rewards discipline he rewards consistency hallelujah praise the name of the lord we'll only be here for a few minutes we'll go straight to the business i thought i actually wanted to teach just to cap up my session but um we have to work with time and so we'll go straight to the business of the morning but one thing I know and I can tell you in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God, is that you will never be the same. You will never, truly never be the same. Why? Because the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. There are many spirits, but this one, the Lord is that spirit. And it says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there are many of you who have experienced all kinds of closed doors doors that refuse to open doors don't open with time they does not open a door hallelujah i like you whilst me a visitation in the name of jesus christ go ahead and pray everywhere inside Hey, Balaka to protas ke de balaka to siata balakos. Shada balaka to prende ke de balakos ka de pros ke di balahasiata. Shaba baba baka to barada balaka to siata. Shaba rusia da balada balos. 
I desire to see your glory manifest in my life. This is a miracle service. Don't be tired, you're praying. One genuine encounter in the presence of God. One genuine encounter in the presence of God is able to turn your life around. One genuine encounter with the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. That most, please pay attention. Did you know that most of the challenges that believers have, as far as their advancement and their excelling in life is concerned, did you know that most of these challenges are connected to spirits and connected to influences? The Bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that the whole world lies in wickedness number two the bible also is careful to tell us that we are not alone in this side of god's kingdom that there are demonical forces that have been sent over lives over families over destinies and they have a singular assignment to thwart the purposes of god they find anything God in your life and would insist with a bulldog diligence until they destroy everything that represents the purposes of God in your life. The moment prophecy came that Jesus was arriving, the spirit of the Antichrist began to move people and systems to frustrate him. When Jesus was born, on account of his birth, all his age mates were killed. Did you read your Bible? that children suffered because a savior was born from age two and below imagine how how insistent satan was same thing happened for moses and then when jesus was announced declared to be the son of god with power the bible says he was driven by the spirit to the wilderness when he got to the wilderness for the 40 days that he was fasting satan did not go anywhere around the world again he stood there that was his location the moment jesus was done fasting and praying the first person he met was satan himself three temptations temptation number one the temptation of hunger and individual turn this stone to bread forget about your assignment and focus on your personal needs and jesus said no it is what that puts never to return never to return the bible says blotting out every handwriting there are handwritings and ordinances you know what ordinances are patterns that cause certain cycles to continue repeating themselves in the life of individuals the bible says he nailed them to his cross just quoting it and staying there does not mean it will manifest in your life as powerful as god is he did not cast sin out of man he went through the protocol that administers salvation just knowing that these things have been done in christ does not automatically make them manifest this is where believers continue to mock themselves no the assignment listen carefully the assignment of priesthood is to establish that which is a reality in christ and in the realm of the spirit ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says blessed be the god the father of our lord jesus christ who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings it says but the bible says they are in heavenly places and they reside in christ but that's not where we need them the word has to become flesh to dwell among us so that we can behold the glory 
For as long as the word was in the realm of the spirit, it did not profit us as far as salvation was concerned. He yes, that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, I will restore the year. Not just I will restore things, I will restore the year. Alas, master, they said, it was their instinct to go forward that made them. It says, where we meet with you is too small. They were telling Elisha. It says, let us go beyond the Jordan. And while they were felling the tree to make a bigger tent, the axe head fell. And the man said, alas, master, it was borrowed. But thank God they pleaded with the prophet to come along with them. And he says, where fell it? He threw a stick there and the axe head began to float. Hallelujah. A miracle service provides a supernatural atmosphere where the spirit of the living God can touch people and provide supernatural solutions. Listen, the house of God must have five, there are five indices, five biblical indices that measure whether or not a place can or if it is the house of God, it must be fiction. But I know whom I have believed. I didn't just believe him. I know whom I have believed. To keep that which is committed unto him against that day. Conviction. The mind is only one dimension to transformation. Transformation. Number three. To reach. For God so loved the world that he gave. His only begotten son is not the only thing he gave. His only begotten son was the greatest gift he gave. It gives miracles. It gives all kinds of solutions. And so we must regard to find the hand of God rest upon their lives. To provide direction, supernatural solutions miracle signs and wonders in fact it is the secret of joy i hope you know that you do not need miracles to be joyful but you need the power of god coming upon your life to have the fullness of joy acts chapter 8 please from verse 5 just to buttress on this point and then we'll pray acts chapter 8 let's start from verse 5 i just thought to bring that very quickly acts chapter 8 the bible says then philip went down to the city of samaria and he preached christ unto them next verse the bible says and the people with one accord verse 6 now the bible says they gave heed unto those things which philip speak hearing and seeing everybody say hearing and seeing if it is the house of god you should not hear alone you must hear and you must see hear what god is saying and see what god is doing you do not just hear what god is saying alone you hear what he's saying and you see what he's doing hearing and seeing the miracles which he did what were the miracles seven the bible says that for unclean spirits aha uh -huh, here you see it again crying out with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with palsies that were lame were healed the result next verse the bible says verse 8 and there was great joy not just in the family a whole city can taste of the joy of the lord it says hitherto you have asked for nothing ask that you will receive to the end that your joy may be full you can rejoice even in the midst of adversity you can rejoice in the midst of nothing but if you want the fullness of joy it must be in the presence of a performance in your life is god helping us this morning praise the name of the lord and so your heart must be open to receive what do we experience in a miracle service anything at all everything whatever it takes to stamp the hand of god upon your life and your destiny should be expected in a miracle service whatever it takes if it takes restoration then that's what you should see if it takes healing if it takes a blood cleansing if it takes whatever kind of thing deliverance from all kinds of oppressions if it takes direction coming to you by the spirit of the living god and so whilst you are seated here make up your mind that i'm not going to share the grace and just leave ready to come by the evening 
unchanged untouched no testimony make up your mind that i'm not just going to clap for others you wrote your prayer requests it is the clearest expression of your desire the bible says in mark chapter 11 from verse 24 it says what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them what things soever what things soever matthew chapter 7 for everyone that ask it receive it everyone everyone that ask it receive it and everyone who seeks finds and to him that knocks the bible says the door shall be opened you can ask you will receive if you've lost something you can seek and you will find and then if a door has refused what is a door a door is the authorized access a door connects two realms connects two dimensions if you have your house between your living room and your kitchen there is a door is that true between your door and your restroom i mean your parlor or living room and the restroom there is a door doors are authorized systems for access and there are times that doors can be closed in fact here's how the bible puts it the bible says when these angels came and wanted to take um the people in sodom and gomorrah wanted to take the angels they were to sodomize them the bible says how that lot said look i can even give you my daughters and he said no it's the angels that we want the angels drew lot into the door and caused the people with blindness the bible says they wearied themselves in front of the door they were in front of the door but they did not know how to open it because they were blind they wearied themselves in front of the door and as always in a miracle service there are always impartations you see these eyes are not just for seeing you don't receive just with your hands alone lifted your eyes are also tools for reception you have to learn this <laughs> the, yes sir you can receive when you see the bible says from where thou art lift up your eyes before your legs move the first part of your body that should move in reception and possession is your eyes lift up your eyes northwards southwards genesis 13 eastwards westwards it says as far as your eyes can see even to you i will give for a possession so you step into certain realms of the anointing when you have the opportunity to watch those possibilities happen the reason why many of our fathers could step into certain levels of the anointing the prophetic the evangelistic was that they were in crusades where they saw these things happen transformation is difficult without a reference you can't change into nothing you need to see god in action then you are able to step into it the bible says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty then it says we all from glory to glory even as by the spirit of god are we together now who is this kind of any spirit other than the christ it's time for you to be set free right now hallelujah now listen please i want you to help me whether you are an usher or not for the sake of time please anyone under the anointing do me a favor to just bring them out we have to be very very fast are we together now father in the name of jesus we are stand in agreement with you may your glory fill this place bring deliverance bring healing in the name of jesus at the count of three i want you to shout my goodness my god my goodness all i'm seeing is fire in this room that's what i'm seeing just fire from the front to the back front to the back fire father at the count of three every spirit that is not of the christ please bring them out i decree and declare every devil every demon every curse every yoke i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i declare you leave now are you ready at the count of three one two three shout jesus please bring them out in the name of jesus 
Let there be miracles now. Let there be healing now. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every devil, every spirit that is not of the Christ. Let them go now. Release their destinies. Release their families. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Please just bring those under the anointing. There's a reason why I ask that you bring them. My goodness, my God. Now, there are many families. Some of you, it's not just individuals, but there are families. I'm about to pray again. Every family here, under the influence of any spirit other than the Christ, I declare right now, be delivered now, be delivered now, be delivered now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every family, every family, every family, be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ. by the spirit of the living God what is your name my friend my name is Faith Peter huh? Faith Peter Fa from where from Mina I'm uh, from Edo State you are all trusting the Lord for the fruit of the womb yes my friend what, what's your name who is Peter? Peter. What's your name? Peter, sir. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing that is coming upon your life. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never, ever be the same. Never be the same. In the name of Jesus. What is your name, madam? F Who is Alice? What's your name? Alice. Alice. From where? Are you a, me is she a member of this? Dunamis. You're from Dunamis. Where are you from? Dunamis. Huh? Dunamis. Dunamis Ministries. Because I'm seeing the face of Dr. Paul and Angel on you. That's why I'm saying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command by the power that raised Christ from the dead, this barrenness, right now, let it leave you. Now! In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That everything that is not of God. Madam, please place your hand. I want to pray for you now. Was it not the rod of Aaron that in the glory bordered, even though it did not, it was not connected to the earth? I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. We have to hurry up. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, I declare, I don't know how long you have waited, but I speak to you here at Quantum Leap. In the name of Jesus, by this time next year, you will not come alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. My sister. Where are you coming from? You're trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Yes, sir. Is your husband here? He's here. Husband, what's, what's your name? Rita. Peter. Rita, Rita. Huh? Rita, Rita. Your name? Rita. Rita. Who married Rita? Your wife is here. Please come quickly. Let me pray for you. Is, is the husband here? Please don't be embarrassed, sir. Don't be embarrassed. We don't intend to embarrass you at all. I'm seeing a man with a white t-shirt or something, white dress. Is this what I'm seeing? Is that your... Ma Maybe he has gone. Is he here? Man. I'm seeing the man wearing white. This is what I'm seeing. Okay. Your wife? I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. Please don't cry. Come, come. You see, brothers and sisters, look up many of you may you need to be in the position of people with difficulty to know why miracles are important you may not need it because you had a child easily but there are people the the mockery and you know the way africa is once these things don't happen you hear all kinds of versions of nonsense coming from people bring someone under the anointing this row at the back the power of god is coming on someone bring them Hallelujah. Sir, look at me. I want to pray for you. Where are you from, sir? Niger State. Niger State. Niger State, here. Yeah. Yes, I'm sir. going to pray for you. The Lord is bringing you a visitation once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ. 
who had multiple miscarriages multiple miscarriages same you well i've prayed for you already father i pray for this man in the name of jesus madam rita why, why are they out here all for fruit of the womb madam hold on lift your hands my god what is this let let me pray for stand up my please stand up stand up let me just pray for you the lord just i command this devil to let you go i'm seeing something being tied around your stomach release her now in the name of jesus christ help her please out of her now in the name of jesus christ it may express itself as a medical condition but the bible calls it an oppression it's as simple multiple miscarriage who is that hmm. come look at me you believe in jesus yes huh? yes go and write the name samuel down you are a worker here in this church yes hold my hands you see brothers and sisters it pays to be a worker in the house of the lord there are times that workers complain that they don't receive anything people come and they are blessed no not in a ministry like this what's your name huh? who is the lord is giving samuel to a lady called tosi Tosi, who is that? What is your name? Yossi. Tosi. Everything that was lost shall be returned to you. That was My dear, look at me. Do you believe the Lord is bringing you restoration? Yes write go and write the name samuel down in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i stand in partnership with the faith of your pastor and we declare this captivity ends now help her in the name of jesus christ for all of you who are standing here don't cry don't cry there's someone you cannot walk well the power of god is coming on you now try to walk I don't know whether you came with a crutch or you came you cannot walk well check yourself check yourself now i just saw a vision of someone healed in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god i don't know whether it's inside or outside i'm praying for you right now in the name of jesus christ Hold on, what, what's okay? You have a problem, sir? No, I have a, a spondylosis at okay. the back. Hold on, don't just bring them. Let let just bring those who are healed and touched. But my sister, look at me. Just stand where you are. Lift your hands. What's your name? Father. Look at me. The devil would have killed you before now. This is what I'm seeing. Yes, sir. You would have been long dead. It was the prayers of the saints that it, It's true, sir. Oh dear, cameraman, can, can, can this man year. just dress a bit? Yes, sir. Let me see the up. This sorry, so sorry for. In the name of Jesus, just lift your hands where you are. Father, I stretch my hands. Let there be perfection to your body now. In the name of Jesus, perfection now, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, a problem with your back? Can I pray for you? Your legs? Yes. The back and the legs. You, you have to use this to, to support okay. my work. I'm going to pray for the sick generally, but since these ones are out, out, and then I will just speak over you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I command every devil to release you right now every fibroid that is hiding in your stomach not allowing you to be fruitful in the name of jesus i curse it right now 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Something is wrong with you. you your legs. Operation. I had a uh, you had spinal surgery. cord operation. Yes, my leg. Can I pray for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is your Zion. I pray for Prof. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Now, let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you life. I bring perfection to your limbs. In the name of Jesus. Sir, look at me. Lift your legs. Lift them gradually. Lift your legs. Lift them gradually. I declare perfection. Perfection. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Perfection. Try to walk, sir. Try to walk. Try to walk lifting it. Run if you can. Woo! You will never return again in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Never returns to you. Sir, how long has this been? Five years. Yes. Your back. My back. Your legs. legs. Yes. You can't. N I have okay. numbness. Okay, numbness around yes, your legs. Numbness. Father, in the name of Jesus, for the sake of your glory, let there be healing for our father and our uncle. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now, every power be broken in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, sir. Are you able? Look at me. Come. Carefully. Come. Walk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Come, sir. Try to lift your legs. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Come, sir. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, we decree and declare perfection for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's celebrate Jesus for this miracle. We have to hurry up, my God. Father, I pray. I'm about to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who are here trusting God for the fruit of the womb, I release my faith with Pastor Petrock, the set man over this ministry. Three of you, the power of God is coming on you now. And I'm seeing an opening. I'm just seeing like a door that has been closed. Three of you. I saw three people in my vision. One to three of you I command in Jesus name the son of the living God we already said amen I decree and declare right now let there be liberty according to the time of life return return with your children in the name of Jesus Christ return with your children in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please return to your seat. Now, um, I want to pray for the sick, but let me see your request. You brought your request. Now, for the sake of time, let's have some ushers. You can just pass it to the last person. Is that fine, Pastor? Please pass your prayer request. Those of you following online, I believe that there should be a platform for you to just register your request. Just pass it to an authorized official. They'll be waving your, their hands. And then let's pray for the sick right now. I want to pray for the sick right now. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good, healing all they that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. You heard the testimony of Pastor Pete. God is able to change blood conditions. 
God is able to change all kinds of situations. You can also stand in for someone by faith. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, here at Quantum Leap 2021, in the name that is above all names, we decree and we declare that every devil of infirmity, every spirit that is back of sicknesses and diseases, we command that you let God's people go now. You let God's people go now. I decree and declare every sickness and every infirmity represented in this place by the blood of the eternal covenant we decree and declare be healed right now be healed right now the lord is healing severe cases of migraine i'm seeing people who have had severe cases of migraine be healed right now anyone here with sickle cell anemia in the name of Jesus Christ we change that blood group now we change that genotype now please believe it these are not empty words in the name of Jesus the Christ of God there's someone your left ear you don't hear very well with your left ear right now the power of God is touching you in fact I'm seeing someone you sing but something something happened recently with your your throat or something and you cannot even voice very loud after this prayer right now you check yourself and you see that the power of god has touched you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone you have you've been feeling like symptoms i don't know if you verified it in the hospital but like appendicitis this is this is you've been having that severe pain right now i decree and declare the power of the holy spirit is touching you right now every bone condition in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god lower back pains pains around your lumbar vertebra numbness in your body i declare life to your body right now pile there are a few people I'm seeing the Lord is healing from pile. Pile. Everywhere I have traveled to in recent time, God seemed to be healing people from pile. I don't know why, but in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle for you right now. Let there be a miracle for you right now. Every eye condition in the name of Jesus, I declare be healed now. I declare be healed now be healed now there there is a lady here you have I don't know what the problem is but it had to, it has to do with your hip area this is a medical condition I don't know what it is but I, I think you've seen a doctor for it but by the power of the Holy Spirit right now I decree and declare let there be a miracle for you now The Lord is healing a lady. You are not a nursing mother, yet you are lactating. This is what I'm seeing. You are not a nursing mother, yet you are lactating. The power of the Holy Spirit, wherever you are, is coming upon you. And in the name of Jesus, an end comes to that demonic ordeal. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone at the back. I don't know if it's a swelling or a pain just at the back of your head here. The power of God is touching you right now. Every kind of communicable disease here in the name of Jesus Christ be healed from it now. And even common diseases like malaria, like typhoid, anything at all. I declare in the name of Jesus be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Um, asthma. Asthma. 
the power of God is coming on that person right now the Lord is asking me to do this right now the power of God let me just obey what the Holy Spirit is telling me you've struggled with asthma but the power of God is touching you now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus help them that's right by the power of the Holy Spirit that devil of asthma in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a lady wearing a veil that looks like a green veil the devil of asthma is leaving her now and leaving her forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now even though I am praying for sick people I'm seeing a gentleman as it is right now you need a miracle you are a businessman but you are in debt that only God can deliver you right now as I'm speaking because um, I don't know what it is that you do but you are in a very serious financial crisis right now I stand in faith and I declare right now may the God who helps men may he show you mercy now in the name of Jesus there is a family here the Lord is asking me to stop the plague of death like two or three people have died within the span of maybe like a year and a half in the name of Jesus I don't know where that family is sorry we're working with time in the name that is above all names I declare be healed now be healed now who is grace 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 presume that there may be so many people with that name grace am I wasting your time this morning I like you while you are standing to pray what <laughs> this is a very deep mystery I'm going to pray for all of you right you have the name but I want you to pray the one grace and the one dimension from God that must come upon your life to change seasons in your life some of you it is wisdom some of you it is favor lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to the Lord go ahead please go ahead and begin to pray please don't come out at random don't come out at random make sure ah! my God May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your children and your children and the children and the children. May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your children and your children and the children. Go ahead and pray. Declare, I receive for this season of my life. life is about to change this man come what do you do sir I'm a public servant you are a public servant what does that mean politician yes and come. Also an... the Lord is asking me to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ help this one madam look at me this woman the Lord is bringing you such level of favor in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same you will never forget this conference in a hurry the hand of God is upon you in the name of Jesus Christ now listen I, I I'm, I'm obeying God so please don't think this is some I know that um, here and there in the body of Christ especially at times like this there are all kinds of things happening and it's important that I state this so that you don't think that some of these things are just a 
a jamboree or a show you see sometimes the apostolic and the prophetic ministry is a very strange ministry because you are mandated to obey everything god tells you i'm saying it because god asked me to step my feet and just walk from here to here and he was saying as i walk there is deliverance and impartation coming ordinarily i would not do this but this is the instruction god is giving me so i'm taking out time to explain because most times people are very ignorant when they see these things they think it's just some you see there are levels when god takes you there are childish things that you should you should not be doing again there are too many people connected to your grace to stand on stage and be behaving childishly and foolishly are we together but then at the same time these are prophetic instructions the lord is giving me an instruction he's just saying i should walk just through these people and the power of god there are all kinds of healings and breakthroughs light in the name of jesus christ 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 I declare for all of you who are here by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be miracles for you right now hallelujah now listen there is a dimension that God works with me that is very very strange I don't know why God does it but he does it anyway there are times that God steps in and delivers territories just by me mentioning the name of the territory and this is why what is happening to me right now i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing the light of god go to kogi state listen now F, no 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 it's not about rejoicing when when i mention that those from that state the power of god begins to touch you to bring you deliverance and in the name of jesus i stand right now in faith according to this vision that i've seen kogi state Madikas Kodaba, help them. Paratoska de Brendegetea, Ebrageto Shaleka Paretia. Everyone connected to that territory that is under any siege, husband, wife, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you life and I bring you power. In the name of Jesus Christ, Kogi State, Ayayaya, Karikatos, Kabrendege Baruska Teaba. Be delivered right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered right now. I'm still seeing the same vision and I'm seeing the light of God going to Benway State in the name of Jesus. Right now, I declare anyone from that territory, help them please, under any demonic siege, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be set free by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Everyone you are standing in for, sir. There is a picture on your phone. Yes, Show me. That's my wife. Who is that? My wife. On your phone. Grace. Grace is her name. What is her name? Grace. Grace. Yes. I want to pray for you. The Lord is bringing favor to your wife. Amen. Your phone was off. How could I have seen that there is a picture? In the Amen. name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you and I pray for Grace. Step into a new season. God will use you greatly even in this city. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. One person among the ladies wearing yellow, the power of God is coming on you. Among these ladies wearing yellow, this, all these our sisters wearing yellow, the hand of God is coming on one of you. And the Lord is saying he's ending a season in your family. This is what I'm hearing from the Lord. He's ending a season. I stretch my hands right now and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. May that miracle happen to you right now. In the name of Jesus. Help them, please. Now, hear me. Please, two things we're going to do very quickly and then we'll, we'll be done. We're going to pray over this request. I'm going to plead that um, Pastor Pete is here with me so that we can 
declare over this and then I'm just going to speak over your life prophetic words are powerful um my dear sister that lady holding a phone wearing glasses come run may his favor be upon you in a thousand generations look at me it's open your eyes don't cry i want to pray for you the lord is saying i should bless you and speak over your life father in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare over this lady an end comes to seasons of shame seasons of reproach i use her as a point of contact and i pray for anyone here seasons of shame and reproach that has mocked your god i declare those seasons come to an end now those seasons come to an end now in the name of jesus now please i like you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray pastor please can you join me let's just pray together as the convener of this conference we're going to bow our knees before the lord jesus christ declaring over your requests and no you don't have to kneel we are the ones who will do the kneeling yours is just to stretch your hands by faith and then we'll make declarations um, when we pray, I'm going to give him the mic just to make a declaration and then I wrap up and we'll do the final prophecy and impartation and we're done. Please, if you are yet to submit your request, just do it very quickly. Just do it very quickly in the name of Jesus. Be patient, we're almost done. But your life is about to change because this request here is the most accurate representation of your desires. And the Bible says, what things soever ye desire, it says, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it can you begin to pray in the spirit while we pray just stretch your hands towards these requests by the power that raised christ from the dead In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Father, King of glory, Jesus stood in front of the grave of Lazarus and he said, Father, I thank you because you always hear me. Nothing is impossible to you as the voice of Jesus over this prayer point, we begin to decree and declare results in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, 
roll the stone away. I decree and declare every limitation, everything that has been blocking the destinies of men, everything that has kept you in the grave, everything that has hidden you in the dark, I command the stones to be rolled away. <laughs> Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. According to this prayer point written here, let the stones be rolled away. And Jesus declared with authority and command, Lazarus though you've been dead for four days come forth right now by the anointing of the resurrection power at work in this atmosphere Everything that is yours that has died, everything that you are asking God for that you have not seen, I command them, come forth! And Jesus said, ay, ay, ay. lose that man and let him go go tell pharaoh let my people go every oppression of darkness every rope everything that has tied your prayer points down i decree and declare by the authority and the anointing of the holy ghost lose that woman lose that man lose that child lose that girl lose that boy lose that church lose that marriage lose that business lose that pos position and let them go woman Thou art loose. Man, thou art loose from that spirit. Girl, thou art loose. Institution, businesses, enterprises, positions that were rightfully yours. I command it to be loose by the fire of the Holy Ghost. He that was dead after four days was brought back to life rejoicing. Thank you, Father, for resurrection power over these prophecies, over these requests, over these pleads. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we seal this prayer by declaring in the name of Jesus that these Egyptians you see today that in the name of Jesus the Christ of God you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever and prophetically we stand upon this request everything that has risen above you we bring it under your feet in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Father. We declare it done in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Now, this final phase, I want you to pay attention. I just want to speak over your destiny and over this city, and we're done. He said, Son of man, can these bones live again? And he says, Only thou knowest. Then he said, Prophesy. Prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Please pay attention. There are two dimensions to the prophetic. There is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic. 
it is for edification for direction to build faith in you but there is the creative dimension of the prophetic this does not tell you what is happening it makes it happen when the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not announcing in advance what would have happened it never would have happened there are things in your life that may have no business happening but prophecy can make it happen he says to appoint unto them that mourn to give them beauty for ashes it says joy for mourning a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks or trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified is it not in your bible that when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he says we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south or the negev he says that he that sows in tears that he shall reap in joy is that true father in the name of jesus we have been commanded to bless and by the power that raised christ from the dead i speak over your life house on the rock mina niger state in the name of jesus let your current season come to an end now i announce to you a new season in your life a new season of glory a new season of power a new season of encounters in the name of jesus christ every time you saw gabriel on earth he was coming to announce seasons that the season had ended and one had begun i sense in my spirit that there are several people here that this conference is ending a season truly in someone's life and beginning another again i prophesy let your current season some of you is spiritually your current realm of operation as far as the anointing is concerned we bring it to end and we open a new one help help her please help the woman of god we bring it to end now and we open a new one in the name of jesus christ please pay attention He said the donkey that your father is looking for has been found I stretch my hands everything that has left you that should not have left you I stand by the rod of the prophetic and the apostolic wherever it is opportunities relationships I call them back to your life now I call them back to your life now hallelujah there are many of you who are gifted and graced people but the helpers of destiny who will identify what you carry and announce you have not been there you continue to bring a global gift in the face of mediocrity no visibility but i pray for you in the name of jesus every man every institution every system that must identify you in this season and help announce your grace to your world wherever they are i call them by prophecy to your life now in politics in business in ministry receive the ministry of destiny help us listen joseph was a gifted young man but he was in the prison where criminals were it took someone who was already with the king there are times you are gifted but you don't yet have access to the throne you need one who is already in the palace to speak for you because the wine presser forgot about joseph he added two years to his pain i opened the book of remembrance concerning you and in the name of jesus where you have been forgotten may god cause the helpers of your destiny to remember you in the name of jesus christ 
please pay attention is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake many of you have been part of the lifting of others you have been part of the rising of ministries you have been part of the political destiny of many there are certain stories that can never be mentioned without your name yet the reward that follows that diligence has not come to you Mordecai was such a man they would have killed the king cheaply but for the ministry of Mordecai and yet he remained at the gate but my Bible says that night the king could not sleep and he said bring me the chronicles when they opened it he said what has been done to this man and a wicked man called Haman thinking it was him he made the best suggestion and he said do the same for Mordecai I pray for you again whatever it is that you have done in time past that should be a memorial for your lifting and you have been forgotten may my God who is also your God remember you in this season in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare over your life everything you have started and you should have finished by now I hope you know that the unit of destiny is time I decree and declare every project ongoing that you have begun and it looks like you are unable to finish it the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work in the name of Jesus that same hand will complete it that same hand will complete it that same hand will complete it in the name of Jesus and anybody holding what is yours everyone holding what is yours I overturn 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 until it gets to your hand in the name of Jesus Christ I hope you know that the two men who were holding loaves of bread it was not for them it was for Saul but it was in their hands but when Saul met Samuel he said as you return you will see two men holding loaf they will salute you and give it to you if it is yours by God then it should enter your hand I pray it again every opportunity every access every door every dimension of grace that should come into your possession and has not yet entered your hand i call upon my god who is your god let there be a miracle for you right now hallelujah please hear me i want to pray a very important prayer right now let it not sound like arrogance i apologize you see the apostolic and the prophetic according to god's organogram for the body um, the apostolic is the office mandated with the responsibility to enthrone kings a king maker may never become a king himself but he can enthrone kings and he can remove kings is that true there are presidents of nations today CEOs of corporations that are currently in jail by the people they once headed because even though they were kings they were not kingmakers are we together now yes Samuel never became king over Israel but there was no king who became king outside of his influence there are graces that enthrone it's not pride it's the truth you can be functioning in an office with no throne in the realm of the spirit backing you and you'll be frustrated as at the time Samuel anointed David, Saul was still sitting on the throne. I truly believe that in this season of glory, there are people who need to be elevated to superior levels of influence. Do you know why? Listen, 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 listen. Do you know why? It's not just for the sake of advancement. God needs to find a people strategically positioned across systems and structures so that kingdom come can be a reality 
if the systems and the structures are not occupied by people who have a kingdom understanding there will be a problem therefore i pray in the name of jesus by the privilege of the election of grace every dimension as far as your influence is concerned that you should step into i release my faith with you and i declare the anointing that enthrones may that anointing rest on you now help them the anointing that enthrones in the name of jesus politically spiritually financially in business in your career may that grace rest upon you now 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 let me pray over our finances you cannot talk about glory and not talk about wealth the body of Christ has shied away from this to our detriment and others have approached it from a carnal standpoint to the detriment of their relationship with the Lord but can I tell you a people not empowered financially empowered are a people who will remain slaves forever the Bible says the rich rule it over the poor and it says a borrower is slave to the lender it says the rich and the poor meet together God is the maker of them all he never said God made them so he made them all their decisions and their understanding separated them into those cadres. I want to pray for you there is the prophetic contribution that comes into the wealth equation of a man there are principles of value diligence relationships etc but I tell you there is a prophetic advantage he said by this time tomorrow and a foolish man came and stood and said, Oh king, will it be so that the windows of heaven will be opened? And the prophet said, You will see it, but you will not eat of it. He died at the gate there, the gate of abundance. I pray for you by the mercies of God. I decree and declare for many of you here, between now and the next three months, like the ark of God that was in the house of Obed Edom in the name of jesus christ step into strange dimensions of financial blessings you will marvel and wonder at the kind of favor that begins to come upon your life i declare to you one more time step into a level of financial blessing personally and corporately personally and corporately step into that level of financial blessing dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again Bye.